Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun, and uh, this is part two of the modded server tutorial. So in the first part, I told you guys how to actually download and install the modded server, and uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to update that server and how to get mods for it, actually. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, just as a refresher, I have my modded server, and uh, that's what it looks like, just, just where we left off. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. Go to that same link that I showed you in the first tutorial of the bucket forum so forum.bucket.org and then what you want to do instead of going well first I'll show you guys how to update it um, go back and do discussion and support and um, and then go to where do I uh, yeah where do I download bucket slash craft bucket and do the same thing um, uh, click download and then just replace that file that's already in there and that's always how to update it and uh, you need to check for updates regularly um, and that link right here, this is always the updated link. Um, it's never out of date. So whenever you need that update, just go to the forums, go to and this thread, and uh, download it. And that's always how to update update your server. Um, just uh, drag that file that you get back into your um, into your modded folders server, and then just delete the other one. Um, so yeah, I guess I can show you guys. Uh, let me do that real quick. I'll just show you guys just. Uh, how to do it so let's say I want to go uh, update my server I go to discussion and support where do I download craft bucket slash bucket or whatever um, and then click the download link and it will I want to save it and then what I do is I can since I've Google Chrome I can just click this and drag it into my server so let me open up my server oh wait wrong one so let me go ahead and open up my modded server file let me delete this old one make sure you delete the old one and then just drag that into the folder make sure it's named correctly too so uh, always check for that um, so that's how to update your server so um, yeah now I'm gonna show you guys actually how to get mods um, there's some pretty cool mods and I'll see what they are they are um, go back to the forums.bucket.org and then go to plugin releases now pl bucket is not fully released and when it's fully released this won't be here it'll be changed I don't know what it's gonna be changed to but um, yeah now let's uh, go let's look for a mod we can just select one that looks good um, let's just go to whitelist a whitelist is basically you you add a player to the whitelist and they can get on your server so let's go ahead and download that um, in the post it'll tell you all the commands that come with the plugin <clears throat> and how to use the uh, plugin and what it is so all you have to do is uh, click the download link that's somewhere in the post, so it's right here. I would click on that. Um, it should. Um, well, this one took me to another page, but just find the download on that other page. But usually, it'll be an automatic download. So I found that right here, and it's a zip file. Um, <clears throat> they'll either be a zip file or a jar file. Now, what you want to do is go into your modded server folder, go into the plugins. Um, it should be empty if you just started, and then drag that zip file into the plugins, but we're not done yet um, with this plugin. What you want to do is open it, and uh, you actually want to, oops, um, you actually want to drag the jar file in. Or you could just right click, uh, like, right click the zip file and hit extract here. Um, you need some kind of zip fi opening file to do this, um, by the way, like WinRAR is what I use. So, um, So then you can just delete that zip file. And you'll have a your plugin now. Your plugin should be working. Um, with most plugins, what happens is uh, it'll give you an error at first, and that's because it's creating files. And uh, after it creates those files, just restart your server, or just end your server, and then you can like edit the files that it makes. Like you can give permissions who can use this plugin and stuff like that. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. Let me just show you what it looks like. So. Um, though I have the whitelist in my thing and I'm gonna start my server I'm gonna click my server starter and uh, we'll see when this finishes I'll show you guys what I mean alright so it is done and now it gave me some errors well not errors but it says whitelist config folder missing so it created it um, the whitelist is actually missing so everything that's missing it will automatically download into your folder so I'm gonna type in stop again instead of closing I was about to close it but you should always hit stop it's but it's better um, for your server 
So um, now it'll either create the files in your modded server folder or it will go, uh, create it in your plugins folder. See, um, it is in my plugins folder, so it created a new folder. You can open this. Now um, <clears throat> you can actually edit these files. So open every always um, open things in Notepad when you're dealing with plugins. So now um, it comes up with these things, and there's a kick message. Let's say there you're not on the whitelist. There's the kick message means uh, sorry you are not on the whitelist. Like whenever you try and log in, it'll say that message. Um, disable list command. You can uh, disable the commands if you want to. There's no reason in that. And you can add who can um, who can administer or wait no administrate who's like the who can operate the whitelist. So pretty much the whitelist admins. And you can type in your username comma another username. Or whatever but uh, I'm just gonna put mine without the comma and uh, file save now you can open up the whitelist text document and this is actually who is on the whitelist so obviously let yourself in all your friends you know um, username username one and um, so whoever's not on this list will not be able to get in your server um, and now this is just an example of a plugin you don't there's like not uh, whitelist isn't the only plugin you can get, obviously, but I'm just showing you an example of how to like edit your plugins. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now, when you start your server again, it will, uh, it'll, everything will be good, and uh, you will be allowed to get on your server if you did everything right. Um, and only the certain people that you allow will get on your server. Um, that's for a whitelist, uh, by the way. Um, <clears throat> so let me just show you that there won't be any error messages or anything uh, next time you set it up. See, whitelist is trying to load the settings, and it did it, uh, and it says whitelist version 1.5 is enabled, done. So that's what you want to hear. Um, that's pretty much how to install and edit plugins and how to update your server, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, so yeah, see you guys later.